Hey, how's it going? It's noon, just waking up. I'm going to go ahead and do a blog from here on. My whole goal is to eat every cereal out there. I don't care where it's from. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to start off with one of my favorites. Uh, when I was a kid, I called it my graduation cereal from eating like Lucky Charms, Fruit Loops, those little kid cereals we all know. Frosted Mini Wheats. How about if I just hold it like this? I'm not quite... All right. Well, maybe I'll move it further back. Anyways, Frosted Mini Wheats. I love the cereal. Plus, as they say, it's an excellent source of fiber. Some people need that fiber in their life. It helps you uh, go to the restroom. You get a good cereal that tastes really well, and it's good for you. Not too common, right? It's rare you come across those two good things. I wanted these when I was a kid because of the frost on it. Pour me a, a little bowl of this. Hopefully, you could see it. Example. Frosted on one side, not frosted on the other. Why do they do that? They probably figure we only need frosting on one side. That's all the frosting you need. And you know, these are one of those type of cereals you could possibly eat without milk. If you do eat it without milk, make sure you have a cup of water with you because this is extremely dry. I love cereal. I'm a big cereal fanatic. Cereal is one of those meals you could have for lunch. You can even have for dinner. You can have it after dinner for a dessert. Some people, like me, it is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've had that all day for a week. Wait for that next check to come. This cereal is good. That frosting on one side helps from uh, getting uh, getting soggy, but doesn't help the other side. But I do wish, uh, who, Kellogg's? Uh, try it just one time. Maybe for me, I'm sure there's other people out there that can appreciate it. The frosting on both sides. You do have to eat this pretty fast. It's not one of those cereals you could just make it, set it down, and then I don't know what you might do. What could you do? What Here, a perfect example. You may do this too. Sometimes I'll go ahead and uh, make a bowl of cereal, but then I want something good to watch on TV. So you're searching through the channels, and this is, you know, this is how I am. If Saved by the Bell or Fresh Prince of Bill Air is on, perfect TV to cereal ratio. That's what I want. And a cereal like this, you definitely want to... You know, you want to make sure you get it and it's prime, not not when it's soggy. This cereal does get soggy after a while, start falling apart. So you got to eat it right away. You got to get that nice little crunchy taste. And this is really good. And this is now it's starting to get soggy. First one I had, nice and crunchy, perfect. Then the second one was starting to get little, little, a little soggy there. And this is not one of those cereals you can mix up with other cereals. There's some out there you could combine them, make a nice little creation. You know, another catalog cereal, Frosted Flakes, could possibly work with this. You could put bananas with this cereal. That goes well. And um, and get a little creative and pitch strawberries with this. You can do that. But if you want that taste, right here in the back of the box, oh, there it is. They have the strawberry kind. You could get strawberry. And maple and brown sugar. It's a pretty good combination what they have going on there. I definitely will try that. And blueberry. It's supposed to taste like a blueberry muffin. If you cut up a blueberry muffin and put it in your cereal, that's what it's going to taste like. I don't know. It's, I'm sure they're hoping for that. Frosted Mini Wheats. Definitely one of my top 10 favorite cereals of all time. Uh, just because it, it's so awesome. I, I can't really get tired of it. I've been eating it for years now since I was a kid. And uh, it's pretty cool. They've got this little, uh, where is it? Right there, that little guy. I don't even know his name. I don't even think they give him a name. But he goes out and he's in the commercials. He talks. He jumps on uh, kids' shoulders and backpacks and hangs out with them. They think that this talking uh, Frosted Mini Wheat will, will be appealing to kids. Anyways, there's many more of these to come. Remember, excellent source of fiber right there. Frosted Mini Wheats.